Hi guys, it's Ray. I am doing a tray today. Uh, this is my freeform mold again. I have started with, I mixed up 1400 milliliters this time. We'll see what I actually need. Every time I get started, something happens. Um, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to work with. I'm going to do these silver flakes. I get these on Amazon. It comes in a three pack of gold, silver, and copper. I'm going to use Silver Surfer Glitter from GlitterCraze.com. And I am going to use Love All Bling Mermaid Dreams Glitter. And then I'm going to use um, Tim Holtz Ranger Alcohol Inks in Stream and Glacier. That's it for this one. I don't really have a solid plan. I'm going to keep this one mostly reserved, just clear. But I'm going to pour a little bit of it out just so there's less in the container. So bear with me. I'm going to get everything mixed up quick. I'm not worried about dripping a little bit in the bottom. Not a concern. So, I'm going to set this one aside. I'm going to put the top on these silver flakes quick because I think I'm done with those. A little bit goes a long way with those. Alright, now I'm going to fill them. I started with smaller cups and then realized I was only doing five colors this time. And that I needed bigger cups. So I transferred everything. I do want to get most of this out of here. And I do want to work quickly. Last time I did one of these trays, I started to set up super, super fast and lost a bit of product, which is always unfortunate. So that's good. I'm not going to use any fine glitters. Sticks ready for all of these. I'll mix up the glitters and get them, then get the inks going. I haven't really decided how I want to do these. If I want to do a diagonal, a horizontal stripe, a swirl. I don't know. I was going to do another geode style, but I wanted to do something different. And I had silver handles, so I needed to use the silver flakes again. I'm going to do a like a round geode style next. I bought little gold handles for that. I'm going to make that one a little smaller, but I haven't had time to do the mold yet because I have to work with that silicone outside because it smells. So, and it rained today, so I didn't get a chance to do that. It's been extremely hot and extremely humid here. And the silver flakes will, even if you have a big chunk as you mix them, they will break down some and fall apart, typically. So I don't generally break them down before I put them in the epoxy. You know, this little spot here that's being stubborn. I'm just trying to break that down some on the side. Okay. So that's good. I'm going to go ahead and mix my inks. Uh, for this project, I'm using Pearl Marine two part epoxy. I mixed it evenly. One part A, one part B. I picked these two colors hoping they played nicely off of the, and these I want to be just a clear color. 
I don't want like a solid, solid color. That's why I'm using an ink versus a mica or any other pigment. I want to be able to see through the color when it's finished. And hopefully this mold is still completely secured because I don't want any leaks. If it does start to leak, I may just grab my hot glue gun quick <laughs> to shore it up on the outside and hope that works. Because I did not test for leaks this time. So, and these are already starting to get pretty warm, so I do want to get moving. I'm going to get these out of the way. Just some mold. Um, this is pretty well leveled on here. Alright, so what do I want to do? Let me get these spoons out of the way as well. I'm going to wipe this off real quick. Just because I did spill a little bit. and some rogue glitter, which is probably stuck down, but that's fine. It's not gonna hurt anything. It's gonna end up with that glitter in there anyways. Okay, I think I may do like not a full diagonal, but maybe an oblong. I'm gonna build and layer. I'm just trying to move pretty quickly. So it's just gonna be super sparkly and girly and beautiful. Go ahead and put some of this in the next layer. So I did that first. And then the blue. I'm just going to keep layering and building basically until my cups are empty. And it's okay if it ends up on a different track than it started. It's certainly not going to hurt anything. because this one's just going to be a super fun and free shape. And my plan is to immediately embed the handles, I think. I struggled with the handles on the last one, so I was almost kind of thinking about just going ahead and drilling them in later but I don't really want the screws at the bottom sticking out but I feel like they end up too short sometimes with the amount of um, resin that I use Not really sure, but I have to make a I have to make a decision here in just a minute if I'm going to put them in now or not. And this glitter is chunking up at the bottom, so I'm probably gonna put a little more resin in that cup. I had my resin set up on me on the first one of these I did, so I didn't actually get a good true measurement. So I may have over mixed this time, which isn't that big a deal. I do have some cups ready right now. 
and go a little bit more. It's still good. But I do have a couple cups ready to um, epoxy and some molds you saw me just move out of the way. So I'm not too overly concerned. And uh, that's all the extra I have currently, so that's not too, too bad. The big batch was done. And I'm gonna get that popsicle stick in there and mix up that silver leaf a bit more. Again, trying to move super fast because this is getting quite warm. This tray would be great to sit on a vanity or a dresser to put, you know, makeups, perfumes, whatever, girly stuff on. A lot of this glitter is going to sink. But it'll be okay. I do want this silver leaf pool in the middle to be bigger, if possible. So I am going to just finish it off in the center rather than doing any more on the edges. Said, I do want to try and chunk up these couple of pieces of the leaf. And you can manipulate it some. And I'm going to try and put just a little bit more of this blue on either side. So, I think that should be good. I might have a slight leak here, but I think it's going to hold. So, that's all right. I'm going to go ahead and take this glove off. I'm going to grab a vinyl glove quick. And I'm just going to quick hit this with the heat gun. I don't want to overheat it or move it. Or actually, I'm going to use the torch, not the heat gun, excuse me. Just to pop those bubbles that formed in the glitter. When I do a piece this big that's this big a pour, I don't really have time to let the resin sit and the bubbles to work out on their own at all. Just because you do end up moving relatively quick. And glitters do tend to hold some bubbles in. So, I think that's good. Let me get just a tiny bit of this glitter down in this corner. Just so it's not such solid green. Maybe a tiny bit more of it over here. Same thing. There. All right, I'm gonna grab a wipe and clean my fingers off real quick. So I'm going to attempt to stand the handles in here now. I'm just gonna pick a spot, drop them in. I'm not going to go through the finicky measuring process this time around. I'm just going to eyeball it. And I actually feel pretty good about that. It could be a little bit shallower, but it'll be fine. It's not really meant to be like a serving tray. It's just a really pretty decor piece. So. I will probably hit this with the torch once or twice more because I can see bubbles working their way up. 
I'm going to make sure all of that leaf sits under the surface because that can be another issue and I don't want to add more resin on top so I do want to make sure they're all tucked down in looks pretty good I got down there to eye level so I could look but that is it I will come on tomorrow or the next day and unmold this and then I will get the video up. So, thank you for watching to this point, and I will see you next time. Okay, let's get this out of the mold. Feels pretty smooth across the top, so I'm happy with that. Just gonna gently push it back from the edges a little bit. I'd like to be able to reuse it again. So I'm just being pretty careful. Alright, so that's out. I did have a tiny leak in the mold, so before I use it again, if you can see that, that's where it leaked a tiny bit. So I will reinforce that edge before I use this again, but that is oh, maybe a little bit here. Um, so I'll probably just give it a beat around the edge before I ever use this one again. I'll just take my caulk gun. This is what this mold was made of, was silicone caulk. And I'll just run right along the edge. I won't have to shape it or anything again because it'll be on the outside. So set that aside and see what we've got. I am going to have to um, sand and polish the edges. This one, I think I'm going to leave the edges plain. I don't think I'm going to put silver on them or anything. So, I'm going to do the edges up and um, see this one, I sank these right to the bottom and you can see them more than you could in the other one where I put it mid, midway in, but It'll be fine there's enough room to grab it and move it like I said this one's more suitable for um, a dresser a vanity a coffee table a lot of the glitter did sink to the bottom I think if I did a full glitter one like this I might um, but see I don't really want the top to look like this with the glitter either but I might do a clear coat and then come back and like 40 minutes or so and layer on top of that and then wait another couple minutes and then do a little bit of a clear coat over the whole thing. I would probably fill the silver leaf in the center every single pour if I use silver leaf on it. It did kind of, it's interesting because the first one didn't do this. It sort of domed itself in the mold. So once I clean up these edges and for that I'm going to use a rotary tool. But once I clean up the edges, it's actually going to have a little bit of a curved edge to it. I'm not sure why this one did that and the other one didn't. I do have two little low spots here and here, but they're on the outer edge, so it's really not going to matter. So I think I'm just going to call this one good. And somebody can put it on their dresser, their vanity, and use it however they'd like but everything sits flat, so that's good. So, that is my tray. If you enjoyed this, if you got something out of it, if you have questions, go ahead and ask in the comments or head over to Facebook and find me. I'm always willing to help. And if you like this, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And if there's ever anything you want to see that you haven't tried, even if I haven't tried it, I am more than willing to try it. So, that's that. My next tray should be a round one. 
I'll show you the knobs and everything's on it. I bought these ones. So I think they'd be too small on a big tray, but I think on a rounded tray they'd be cute. So I'm gonna give those a try next time. Alrighty, we'll see you later. Bye.